Hey guys, I am here with the DC Defenders and just a couple seconds, you're gonna see some interviews with some of the guys on the team. I'm talking about DBs, I'm talking about running backs and uh, quarterbacks, okay? Head coach Barlow is also gonna join us, so stay tuned right here so you can see what these guys have to say. Hey everybody, I got KJ Sells here. What up, what up, what up? DB for the DC <laughs> Defenders. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Good to be here. Good talking to you. Uh, how does it feel to be 2-0 though? It feel good. I mean, we work for it. You know, we, we this whole team, is, we consider ourselves as underdogs. Uh, if you look from the top down, from Coach Barlow, even to down, down to the coaches, and everybody that they brought in, we pretty much, we've been under, underdogs all our life. Ain't really no big name guys here for real. So it feel good, but we work for it. How How is Greg coaching you guys up? Like, it seems like the second half, you guys just turn it up. So what is he doing? What is he saying to y'all? Coach Greg is Coach Greg. Coach Greg, uh, I, I love Coach Greg, man, because he's not complacent. And he doesn't allow us to be complacent. And he pretty much preaches what he preaches on everyday life. Um, be the same every day. Don't be a con man. We're not con artists, so we out there to do what we do. And, you know, we don't complain. and We don't, you know, whatever we got to do on the field, that's what we're going to do. And if we got to go back out there, you know, every time and, and strap up in the parking lot, that's what we're going to do. So that's what he preached, so that's what we do. Okay, so y'all have an amazing fan base. Facts. I was at the first home Facts. game. <laughs> it got wild. What Facts. was your first reaction when you saw the lemons, the listen, water bottles on the field? Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. We got the best fans in the XFL by far. It ain't even close. When I seen them lemons, I'm like, what's going on? What is that? You know what I'm saying? I thought it was bananas, but they was throwing the lemons. And I'm like, oh, man, they serious, but... Uh, I think I think our fans are great. It's good. It's a great atmosphere. Um, I've been a part of a lot of good teams, um, but this fan base is wild. Like I love it. It's wild. And I'm hearing it's sold out. I'm hearing it's going to be fans galore. Oh yeah. A one o'clock game. I need to talk before the game too. So yeah, we gonna we, I'm gonna get that. Oh, thing. you gonna go in the mic? I'm getting that thing jumping again. I, give me a pre speech. What you gonna? Oh, say? I gotta wait. I gotta <laughs> wait. You gotta wait for that one. I can't spoil it. I can't spoil you with that one. Just know it's gonna be like that for sure. I'm I'm so glad for the XFL because it just gives people the opportunity to do you know things they may not have thought right. they were able to so it opens so many doors. Right. But just looking back or looking forward, mm -hmm. what are some of the things you want to do when football is all said and done for you? I want to be in uh, multimedia, um, kind of what Dwayne um, is doing. Uh, that's mm -hmm. kind of how I you know want to mold myself at him. I've been watching it for a long time, um, and that's kind of what I want to do: uh, multimedia, being in different things, acting um, on TV, television. Um, different things of that nature so that's kind of what i want to do and also uh, run for mayor when it's all said and done in my city temple florida okay uh florida boy right here it's something in the water in florida like what is it about florida that you know produces all these football stars well first of all we just we just we just swagged out we just got that type of swag it's just okay. something about us you know what i'm saying it's mm -hmm. just you, we got that it you he, can't explain he's giving it. me a b for real right here oh man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man Hey, business is booming. <laughs> Let me stop, man. But yeah, nah, we just got that swag for sure. That's just all it is, you know. And everybody in Florida, we grew up that way. That's just how it is down south. It's some in the water. I, I really, truly believe that. <laughs> but where can people follow you online and, yeah. and keep up with you? Uh, follow me on Instagram at the real underscore K9, T H A R E A L underscore K9. And then on Twitter at KJ2 Live. All right, we're going to get you on Sports and Coffee. That's my Twitter show. For sure, bet. Okay. That's for all right, everybody. I have safety from the DC Defenders, Kentrell Bryce. How you doing? I'm fine, are you? I'm good. I'm good. How you feeling? You undefeated right now? Feeling pretty well, but you know, just gotta take it one and open tally every week. I hear you got the best fans out there. How you feeling about the fans? I love seeing the Lemon Stone last time we played here. Uh, also about the little beer snake. I know they got mad about it, but I think they let them bring it back. So I like that. Did you know what a beer snake was before last last home game? No, I did not. So that was my first time actually seeing it. So it was kind of cool to see. Do you do you really know what it is now? Yeah, now I can see what it is. <laughs> now I can see what it is. <laughs> so what is it about uh, Greg Williams that you love? Um, he's very commanding, very assertive. Um, he makes sure you he help, holds everybody accountable from the coaches to the players. Uh, make sure you know your uh, assignments. Make sure you know what you're supposed to do. Uh, it doesn't take any BS, honestly. Mm -hmm. So what? how do you get hyped for these games? You a Louisiana boy. What you listening to? How do you get your mind right for the game? Um, I really try to stay calm for the most part. Um, I really don't even listen to music too much anymore. 
Uh, just try to keep an even keel mindset. Uh, just know you, you're going to have your high moments. You're going to have your low moments. Just play through them. Um, and just at the end of the day, it's just a game. But we come here to win. Just have fun with it at the end of the day because it's just a child's game. Have fun with it while playing it. He's not lying about the calm thing. Like, I feel like I'm hype. I feel like I need to <laughs> chill out and calm down. I feel real zen right now. Do they call you the calm one on the team? No, nah, the quiet. I'm the quiet, quiet one? Yeah. yeah. That's the ones you got to watch out for on the field. I'm serious. The quiet ones on the field, they'll, yeah. they'll hurt somebody. Yeah, it turned into some different person when I play, but for the most part, I'm quiet outside. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what's up. So, when football is all said and done, what do you see yourself and what do you see yourself doing? Um... Honestly, I've been thinking about that lately. So, uh, sometimes I've been looking at some real estate classes, some things like that. So, I'll probably go into real estate just looking at, um, no, you can't buy any more land. Well, you can't make any more land, so you can only buy land. So, at this point, just trying to find ways to be lucrative and uh, just kind of build a success wealth route for my son later on in life. So, he doesn't have to, he has a choice of what he wants to do. That's awesome. Great. Yeah. So, uh, where can people follow you online and get the latest and keep up with you? You seem like you're not a big online guy. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you don't follow me, just follow me on Instagram, K underscore Bryce23. Other than that, no other social medias. Okay. All no right. Hey, low key, low yeah. key. Well, good luck. Good all luck right. tomorrow. Thank all you. Right. Everybody, we got the running back, Abram Smith, here from the DC Defenders. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling great. A little tired from the. From the flight in, but other than that, overall, I feel great. Are you home? You about to play in front of your home crowd, 2-0 right now. Mm -hmm. How's the energy? Man, I'm looking forward to it. What, I really, what I'm really looking forward to is the beer snake. I mean, we saw a little bit last time, and it kind of got canceled for a little bit. And then, you know, they had the lemons, of course. So I'm, more, I'm excited to get back to that atmosphere. What did you first think when you saw that happening? The lemons. Did you see the beer snake? I did. I was there, but I didn't see the beer snake. But I saw the lemons. I saw a little bit of the beer snake, and then uh, of course I got to focus back into the game. Right. And then next thing you know, the lemons are coming out, and I'm like, oh man, they they really getting into the game. So just seeing that, I was like, okay. The more we produce, the more we get to see this, the more we're gonna have fun, and the more you know, the more exciting it is to play at home. Yeah. So. I noticed just how dynamic you guys are when you're, like, you're running the ball. And it, it, I, I just love the fact that you guys have like a duo back room right now. How are you feeling about being able to have backup and then you being able to also do it yourself? And then you have Derek, like all y'all can run. Uh, it's like a three-headed monster back there. Um, at first we start out just a two-headed monster and it's me and Q uh, picking one another up. And I can get going, he can get going. We feed off one another and the next thing you know, we bring out – you know, the, the third piece of the puzzle. And, you know, you can't never be right when you're, you know, you're trying to defend against us. Right. You never know what's going to happen, what you're going to do. Oh, well, I mean, exactly. You look at it this way. I can get the ball going one way. Q can get it going this way. Or Derek can pull and go this way. Or we can all go for him this way. It, it, you just, you're never right whenever you're going up against a three-headed monster. So is that y'all name, the three-headed monster? Y'all got, no, got any other names? Man, that's kind of just what just popped in my head right now. <laughs> All right, you know that's going to trend now. Three-headed monster, DC Defenders, defend DC with the three-headed monster. I like that. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> I think I think it fits just fine. I mean, you think about it. Shields up, three-headed monster. I mean, it kind of all goes together. Yeah, I, that, that really does have a ring to it. So what are you looking forward to um, as the season progresses? I'm um, just looking forward to us coming together as a full team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're kind of like a second-half team right now, and mm -hmm. that's kind of how we're feeding off. And I just want us to come together and do what we do in the second half in the, the first, first half yeah. so that way it's a full 60 minutes of us i think you guys are going to get there i know coach Butler is going to get you there um how are you feeling about coach Butler? what does he bring um that you may not have seen um previously from your other coaches uh he brings a whole different style of coaching you know he's more of like a, a laid back always watching he's always knowing what's going on and you know there's nothing that he misses mm -hmm. you know but he he knows when to pick and choose a different time to kind of like go and and bring it up to you or bring it up to the team to where a lot of other coaches are in your face yelling, da da da, which doesn't get along, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't get across to a lot of people. So I like his coaching style a lot better um, than, you know, most of my coaches. I've had some great coaches in the, you know, in my career as well. But just with him, he's more laid back. You know, we get to be ourselves and we get to kind of go out there and, like what he would say, is show your stuff. Okay. All right. When it's all said and done and football's over, what do you, what do you want to do? What do you see yourself? Uh, I think I can be a really good coach. I think that's a lot of a lot of guys who played football feel like they can be. Uh, I kind of just want to, I don't know, I got a degree, so I kind of just want to dabble in that. And then 
the end of the day, you know, of course, start a family and do something else with that and maybe coach my, you know, my kids growing up. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, good luck. Where can everybody find you online? Are you an online guy? No, I'm kind of in the shadows, man. Yeah. I, I just be chilling most of the time. Uh, not really like uh, you can kind of check my post all the time. I mean, I don't really post a bunch. I kind of just be so on my you, own stuff. So you're on Instagram? Uh, I just barely made a recently, yeah. like a recent post recently, okay. but like other than that, no, nah, I just okay. be chilling. All right, we gonna find we'll find you online anyway. The people follow you, but good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I have quarterback De'Ara King. If you know me, you know I've been screaming De'Ara King's name from the rooftop. How are you feeling? Feeling good. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Yeah. So we just had Abram Smith, and he was talking about how when you're in the game, and all all three of y'all, because all three of y'all can run. Y'all like a three-headed monster. Yeah. And I said, I think that's that's y'all new name, three-headed monster. There you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, those guys make it easy on me. Mm -hmm. um, Abram, Raquel, both two great running backs. O-line do a great job. So we, when I try to come in the game, we try to you know, make things happen. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it is that um, these defenses have a hard time stopping y'all? Like, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think it is? I think when you add the quarterback run element to it, mm -hmm. they got to defend everybody on the field. Um, and, you know, we read we – read, the defense and a lot, and he can't be right. So if he takes me, I hand the ball off. If he takes them, I pull it and try to make something happen. So I think that's pretty tough to stop. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things um, he said that he wanted to, he's looking forward to, is you guys coming in in the first half and making a statement. Yeah. Um, how do you feel you guys can do that better? Yeah, we definitely have to start better. I think mm -hmm. the first few games, you know, we kind of came off flat. Um, I think getting established in a running game early will mm -hmm. help us out a lot. Um, so this week has been a big emphasis in practice of you know, starting fast, getting the running game going. That way we can you know, play a full four quarters and you know, play to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. So what is the one thing you love about Coach Barlow? I mean, he's yeah. the quiet guy. But he's always watching. He's always lurking. He's yeah. always got some good information. What is it that you love about him? Man, that's my dog. You know, um, ever since I've been here the past eight weeks, uh, he's, he's just a great guy first. And I mm -hmm. think that's important when you coach. You have to be a good person first. And he makes everything fun. Um, you know, practice is always fun. He brings a lot of energy. And I think we feed off that, so I'm excited to play for him the rest of the year. Okay. All right. When football's all said and done, what is it that you want to do? What are you, some of your dreams and aspirations? Yeah, so, like, right now I'm working in commercial real estate. So I've been doing that for about six, seven months. So um, in the off season, whenever I'm not playing football, that's what I'll be doing. Mm -hmm. I'm also down the line. I would like to get into coaching. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you had to be a coach right now, would you be a position coach? Would you see yourself yeah. being head coach, OC? Would you see yeah, eventually working out to be a head coach. We need you got to start somewhere. So um, the position coach, then OC, then head coach. But you know, that's some of my goals for down the line. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I didn't ask you about the fans. So yeah. I usually ask that first, but I'm asking you this last. How did you feel about the fans? How did you react to all the chaos that went on week yeah. one? It was great. You know, I, I didn't know what to expect. First, mm -hmm. first home game, first time playing XFL. So. I think our fans are the best in the league. You know, they brought a lot of energy, especially throwing the lemons. Um, I'm excited the beer snakes back, so I yeah. can't wait to see that tomorrow. Uh, really, you know, ready to get out there and get going to you know, make our fans proud. When you first saw the lemon, like, what did you think? I didn't know what it was at first. I didn't know it was orange pills. I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was pretty cool. You know, it, it gave us a lot of energy, and we feed off that all game. So they, you know, just bring it every single week we're home, and you know, we'll, we'll do our best to make you guys proud. All right, you heard that, DC defenders, defend DC. Bring the lemons, bring the beer snake, have fun. That's good. Yep. <laughs> well, good luck tomorrow, man. Thank you. Thank and, you for having me. And where can people find you online? Uh, my Instagram and Twitter are the same. It's just at Derek King underscore. Okay. So. All right. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. I have Coach Reggie Barlow here. How are you doing, Coach? I am well. How are you doing? I'm good. How's it feel to have your team two and zero going into week three? Yeah, we are excited about that. Um, honestly, uh, these players have put in a lot of work. The coaches, support staff. Uh, so we are uh, happy and excited about where we are, but not content. And uh, we'd like to see how much better we can get. So I, I talked to a couple of the guys, and you know, one of their things that they really want to work hard on, it's like you guys been working hard in practice, is that first half start. How are you feeling about the game plan going into the second? Yeah, that's one of the points that um, we've been talking about all week. Uh, here when we finish up with our team meeting, that's uh, another thing that's on, uh, on the agenda to talk about getting a fast start. And, um, obviously, it's been a one o'clock game, which is a little different for us. Uh, so hopefully uh, that will uh, inspire us to uh, get off to a good start. Okay, great. So what I want to talk, what I've always asked all the guys about is the fans. When you came into this atmosphere week one, were you anticipating what you actually saw on the fans? 
No, I can't say that I, I was. I, I will say, uh, admit that when we were blessed to get um, this position, uh, to be the head coach of the DC team, we went and did some research on YouTube and stuff just to get a general idea of, of the fans and the atmosphere and all that stuff. And uh, it was impressive, obviously. Uh, they bring a lot of energy, but uh, that first home game was uh, extremely exciting. Uh, it's, it's really cool to see those fans support. Uh, came with such energy, stayed and cheered the whole night. So uh, it was a fun game. Yeah, I saw shirtless people. We saw the bear snake. We saw the lemons. What was your initial reaction when you? If did you realize it? And when you did, what was your initial reaction? Yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah this is this is really cool. I've been blessed to be a part of uh, some, some some packed games, games with uh, lots of fans and stuff. But uh, I, I love the stadium. I love the venue that we have. It's a nice spot. Of course, our fans, they, they were in there, and uh, they showed uh, great energy. They cheered when they needed to cheer. Uh, they were loud when they needed to be loud. You know, obviously, those are all good things. And uh, just uh, blessed and happy that we, we have such passionate fans. And one thing I don't know if you noticed, you may have, you might have known, but there was a lot of HBCU representation in that stadium. How do you feel about you being an ASU alumni? Yeah, well, we love our HBCUs. Obviously, uh, I'm being a, a grad at Alabama State University. Uh, we have a huge uh, uh, alumni chapter here in the D.C. area. Uh, so a lot of those people came out to support uh, President uh, Mr. Howard, brought a lot of folks. And then there was uh, another group of people that came that just, just came to support. And uh, it's it's always important to have the HBCUs. We had Howard Band there, uh, which was fun to, to have a HBCU band there. So uh, we love our HBCUs and uh, obviously we'll continue to support. And uh, I talk about you guys every, every day on my show. I, I sneak it in there some way, somehow, and Greg Williams always comes up. What can you say about him and how he's gotten his defense like to just be phenomenal, especially the second half? Yeah, I mean, Greg has a great resume. Uh, he's he's proven. Uh, he's been around pro ball for a long time. He's been a head coach, two different spots, uh, outstanding defense coordinator, Super Bowl champion. Uh, so he brings a lot to the table. Uh, the guys have, have an appreciation of a plan for him. Uh, he gets them to play it the right way. Uh, they're physical and furious. They run to the ball. Uh, they're physical. Um, so, they hit now. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah they are hitting, but... <laughs> Uh, but Greg has been great uh, on our staff as well as our other coaches, but just being able to lean stuff on him, bounce stuff off of him, um, that's been really good. So, we're happy to have him. All right, well, I just want to wish you good luck tomorrow. Have a good game, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, we just wrapped up interviews with the guys here. You saw all the wonderful things they had to say about the fans. I cannot wait to see how this team competes tomorrow, 1 p.m. Make sure you're watching the DC Defenders versus the St. Louis Battle Hawks, y'all. They're going 3 0. I believe it. I can't wait to see you guys there. Amazing old lineman here, <laughs> Rod Taylor from the DC Defenders. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay. I can't really tell you how I feel because. I, I, it's not camera wise, but I'm not uh, I'm not in my best mood right now. Why? You're two and zero. Why you not in the best mood? Because the damn bus drive didn't close the back door, and then my bags came on. We gotta file a claim. This is crazy. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? You guys are two and zero. You're going in there to place this, play this two and zero team. You know how you feeling? Oh shit, I feel good. I, you know, I'm gonna take it all in. You know, take it one play at a time. First of all, I'm going to thank the Lord first, you know what I'm saying, for putting me in that predicament. The clown, y'all. Yeah, no, but you got some awesome running backs. I need you to tell me how it feel to have one Derek and your and your running backs be so dynamic. Like, you block it for him, so. Oh, uh, it's a blessing from God. You know, you have something like that behind you. But it's a blessing that you have some up there up top, you know, to make yeah, you yeah, get through yeah. them holes. Right. So, you know, we're really coming from that old line to get them through there. You know, exactly. so they're really my job. Facts. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs>